Ba-da-da-da. Pow! Welcome back to Comic Book Punch. This is your host, Donny Vasquez. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. I've been drawing to this uh, wildcat child thing. Punching the thing of milk. And today we're starting coloring. Yay! Ugh. I'm hungry. Now that my mom's messages me about food. Uh, I'm not going to make them completely black. <clears throat> that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, good. One day... One day I'll fly. Today is going to be a musical episode. <laughs> Leave all this to yesterday. I'm very surprised on how many people that I have met and made friends with who have never, ever watched Moulin Rouge. Like... That's, that's insane. That's nuts. I showed my friend it. She was like, this is amazing. And then I showed my other friend it. And she was just like, this is amazing. <laughs> that's how my friends talk. Uh, well, I, I mean, this, this, you know, doing these episodes makes me put into perspective the perspective of makes me put into perspective I, I i can record and actually find out how long does it actually take me to make a drawing now i'm not going to be doing these like every single week because that's just that's insane that's insane man you gotta be crazy draw all the time and this drawing's like kind of my part of my life Actually, because I am an illustrator. And I'm working on a comic. Well, if you guys don't follow my Instagram, you don't know much about, you know, my comics and stuff like that. And then I'll throw the handle in there for my Instagram. It's just at Donnie Vasquez. That's D-O-N-N-I-E. And, um... I had posted my second comic that I did. It's called Stocking, Stockings Full of Legs, which is a, the it's an intro to it. I probably won't do the next part until Christmas. But I think it's like 10, 8? I don't know how many pages it is. It's just an introduction on how Santa becomes a baby. Um... But the next one's gonna be uh, taking place like 18 years in the future, where Santa's daughter has grown up and she's kind of um, gonna come and save Christmas and, you know, save her father. Because Christmas has been taken away from Santa and n now Krampus, the Christmas beast, has pretty much taken over Christmas holiday and everybody celebrates the Christmas beast. <clears throat> and Santa's living, you know, with a zombie <laughs> and a unicorn. Or not a unicorn, a bicorn, a unicorn with two horns. Um, and the zombie is um, vegetarian, so... He's, he doesn't have to worry about being eaten by by said zombie. I don't think I gave the zombie a name. I think I named the unicorn like B 
Bobby. I don't know. I'll figure out names later. I still don't even know what um, Santa Claus's daughter's name going to be. I was thinking about like Jesse. Jesse Kringle. Maybe uh, like Christina. You can be Chrissy Kringle. Although they, Grumps calls Santa Chrissy at one point, which was like another another thing that um, my friend pointed out when she read the read the the comic because I wrote another comic that I had her edit for me, where the main character that I introduced in it is called her name's Chrissy Moon. <clears throat> And that comic's actually, I'm trying to work on getting it um, fully like published and available for people to purchase um, sometime, hopefully this year. And I'm also working on the second issue of that right now. <laughs> well, not right now. I'm drawing a picture, coloring a picture right now. Right now, right now. Wildcat. Wildcats! Just join it. I auditioned for <laughs> High School Musical once. <laughs> um, as, uh, our church was actually putting it on. The church that I attend or attended. Um, they were very into like throwing on big production musicals, which they were really awesome. And I auditioned for High School. High School Musical. Ugh. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't get any part. And then they called me later because they needed more people for like the ensemble. And I was like, uh, no, I got better things to do with my life. Um, <clears throat> I think that was the time that I was working at Disneyland also. And then the guy who actually played Troy in that play um, was working at Disneyland with me on the High School Musical um, production thing that they did there at, at Disneyland. So I think his complete dreams came true of being a full-grown adult, being <laughs> children's stuff. <laughs> uh, life when life when life gives you high school musical you you know dance I don't dance 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 Falling upon the half time dance dance. Whatever happened to Fall Out Boy? Did they come out with any more music? Oh wait, they have. There was a, a a kid who comes who comes up to me while I was living in Hawaii. One of the one of the students that I was working with he comes up to me and he's like he's like Donnie, man, you should check out this band Fall Out Boy. And I, <laughs> I'm sitting there with with one of my, one of the other leaders and. We just like look at him and I'm just like, Fall Out Boy? I was in my mind I'm thinking like, there's they're still making music. <laughs> um He's like, Yeah, they're really awesome. And I was like, dude, man, Fall Out Boy was like from when I was in junior high. <laughs> and I was like, they're old. And he's just like, Oh, whoa, really? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> His mind was blown. <laughs> I don't know what color his, his eyes are supposed to be. I'm going to have to go on to another episode. I kind of wanted to get, just get this done. Done and over with. But I even got like into the shading part. Dance, dance. Wildcats in the house. Guys, next time on Comic Book Punch, let's draw the stuff. 
<laughs> we'll be finishing this up. I'm pretty sure we'll be finishing this up. I'll be finished. Dang it. That was... That was too much. Whatever. Watch out.